Welcome to Truths, Proofs, and Firewater Reviews. I'm your host, Lindsay, and this is John, risking his liver to discover new whiskeys. John and I were up to no good today. We ran around town, and when I say around town, all the way around town. We wanted to do a little challenge, and I said to Lindsay, okay. how about we do an allocated or rare... Limited, limited release, or brand new special release, special barrel, something brand new, something special that we just don't get in the current stores. batch. I found mine in like five stores. We went like every other store. She'd go in, I'd go in. It took Lindsay like fifteen stores today. I think we literally hit them all, but yeah. I found one, and I'm excited. She didn't to give up. <laughs> so, do you want to pour yours first? Sure. You got to rate my cork pop. Yeah. All right. Here we go. Don't peek. I'm not peeking. I hate plastic. Ooh. Oh, I give that a solid eight. eight. That was a good one. Eight? I'm Dang, I eight. thought that was a ten. All right. You're a tough critic. I'm just saying, close the eyeball. Okay. I could be like Rat and Link and say, as you can see, we can't. <laughs> oh, I'll when Link says that. Golly. Oh, great. What do you got, plastic? Wax. Mm. I'm breaking my nails right now. Great. Here, give it to me. I'll open it. Nope. Let me feel the shape of that bottle. Nope. All right. Y'all, I'm sorry that took forever. All right, are you ready? Yep. Just keep letting me edit this video. Five. Rude. That's really rude, John. Mm, that wasn't as good as mine. Mine was like a cannon. Nice glug, that means you have a long neck. Well, thank you. <laughs> uh, all right. We're tucked away. Can I open my eyes? Yeah. Uh, we're going to oh clean up wax for forever and My day. eyes are going to adjust to this light for like the next 10 minutes. I'm they sorry. Have shut forever. All right. Moving on. You got a mixy mixy. Okay. You're real good your eyes. Ooh, I almost dropped it. Yeah, we'll do this one first. Okay my side there's like a a younger corn with some rye in there some cinnamon candies there's a little wood on that but it's not that's not strong in the wood category there's a fruitiness uh maybe like a a candy not so sweet strawberry or raspberry you know those like they're hard candies, but they're shaped like little raspberries. They're flat. And then there's like blueberry ones, and they're like yeah. different berries. It reminds me of like opening up those and mm. smelling that. Faint, but still fruity and sweet. I get a little bit of like toasty oak. Like toasty wood. I have problems but maybe catching that's grainy. the wood on that. It's light. I get a rhino note though, too. Yeah, I know. But and I, I don't hit me, but... <laughs> I feel like I get uh, kind of dickily on this. Mm -hmm. Slight, very slight Flintstone-y vitamin coming. Did you get dickle? No, I did not. Mm -hmm. I don't, I'm not mad at it. You know it. those lifesavers you get at like restaurants or in the plastic? Like the wintergreen ones? Yeah, like but it's not super ones. strong. Yeah, they're like a sweeter mint, like a sweet mint. Okay. I'm going to mm. give the nose of that one. I'm going to give it a four. It's not bad. I'm not mad at it. I wish there was like mm. a, a more of a depth to it and a little more spiciness to it. There's but... quite a bit of spice to me. Mm. Now I got that my mind on that mint, that wintergreen. See, I got like eucalyptus -y, like a mint halls, like a, like a ginger. Did you get a rye whiskey? Don't tell me. I don't think so. I, sl I splooshed over. No, mine is not a rye. Just kidding. I'm swirling and I can't see how far up I swirl. <laughs> I'm going to give it a 3.75. It's good, but it's not, it's not superb. It's not what I want. Okay. I thought it'd be a little better. I was hoping it would be a little better. Hoping it's not mine. Very wintergreen. Very eucalyptus and menthol and minty um, buttermint. 
but spearmint, like very, very minty. I don't, I've never had that before. It's got some spice. I get a little bit of really dry wood on it and a touch of vanilla, but that is very medicinal mint to me. I'm going to give you a little known fact that I, I don't even know if you know. Before tastings, I always brush my teeth, but I don't use toothpaste. I just use my brush and it has that little bit of toothpaste on it. And when I'm done, it has a slight mint that goes away before I taste. That slight mint is this. I have it on yeah, here. Yeah, it's, it's like a sweet mint and there's a slight vanilla to it. It's got a little bit of punch to it. Um, it's got some floral. Yeah. Very earthy notes. Very herbal. I feel like this is a, a heavier rye whiskey. I don't know if it's a rye whiskey, but I, I think it's going to be a bourbon at least with a high rye mash bill. And I get like a like a sweet corn, like eating like sweet corn for with dinner. I get that with that. Okay, the wood's starting to open up a little bit. You're getting wood now? Yeah. See, now all I it's taste... It's like a dry, toasty oak. I definitely go there. I'm going to give that a seven. Ouch. It's not great. It's very pungent right at the beginning. And it, it drinks like I want it to, which is why I'm rating it a little higher. Because it's very warm, but it's not burny or stingy or spicy. It's very, very palatable. Yeah. But it's got kind of odd flavors for me it's not a strong flavor it's not high proof there's no well-agedness to this there's no yeah thick mouth feel there's no Numb. high proof that gives you that full flavor i think it's actually watered down too much i hope it's not the one i picked because i had high hopes i'm gonna give it a 7.5 hmm. i'm so I'm the giving, finish is short for me. I'm just, yeah, I'm gonna give the finish a three. Yeah, I was it kind of just 3.25. goes away. Uh, the corn it's, though, it's it's a shorter finish. Um, I don't know if it's corn I get, but there is like a slight grainy corn. sweetness note. I don't know, it's, like a it tastes like young. A, we had a at Panera. They used to have a honey wheat bread, mm -hmm. and it kind of reminds me of that. But I keep getting like sweet corn not like cream corn or anything weird like sweet corn i don't know well i'm gonna give the look it's super dark i mean yeah i mean you can't even see through it all right let's move on to the second one holy crap this is a butterscotch bomb i don't want to lose to you again this is like caramel bomb butterscotch werther's <sighs> butter rum lifesavers this is like a butter schnapps like it's got a little tinge of alcohol to it not bad but man that reminds me of that first elmer t lee we had yeah that turned into like a butterscotch bomb. first and only yeah well yeah yeah but this is like super butterscotch like a lifesaver butter rum. that's what i'm saying that that to me is a butter rum lifesaver all day very very sweet very potent got a little bit of an alcohol tinge but caramel yeah. apple see i get like the like a super sweet golden delicious that apple. that pie that you like mm -hmm. the apple pie that has the crumble on top but has it caramel does have over like it. some of that like a it brown sugar like, crumble yeah. i don't know yeah mm. all sweet <laughs> it's got a lot of sweet notes i feel like to this it. is gonna be like a, a sweet finish like a rum finished or maybe like a honey finished or flavored bourbon hopefully you didn't go there you think that's money uh, i'm not saying it is this that's is where the sweet. fun comes in because i don't know what he picked and he doesn't know what i picked but i don't know jack shit about <gasps> my brand i know a lot about my brand and i know which i know i just need to shut my mouth just be quiet all right what do you give in the nose it's good i mean it just seems unnaturally sweet to me. I'm going to give it a 4. I'm giving it a 4.5. I want a little bit of oak or something different in there. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. Butter rum lifesavers, that's my my bread and butter. I love that. Did you go that. whiskey? Huh? Did you yeah. go whiskey? Yep. 
That could be mistaken as a rum. See, there's a little bit of like an alcohol thinness, astringency type of thing. It doesn't smell as thick as the notes would suggest. The wood is just covered up by that sweetness though, but I feel like it has age to get those notes if it's not mm. finished. There's like a little bit of like a dark cherry in there too. Like a, a chocolate covered cherry. Like the filling. Like the, the... I get the chocolate too. Yeah, I can see the filling, the cream and the fake nasty cherry. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'm going yeah. in. I'm hoping my price just knocks you out of the park and makes it close like it always does. See, I'm a cheap Awoga. Well, I'm here to tell you, it tastes like Butter Rum Lifesaver Stew, but it's yeah. spicy. It's got a little bit I of spice to it. I don't say it's spicy, it. and I don't think it's that high proof. It's not like that. It's got, like, it's making my, it's got my that tongue It's got Butter Rum Lifesavers have that, like, slight spicy, I guess it's the rum in it. Maybe. Or the fake rum, I guess. I don't it's very easy to drink i feel like i would get in trouble with that i definitely get like a honey maple syrup all those sweets i don't really get caramel honey maple syrup butter rum i get butter rum and maybe honey some fresh cinnamon i was gonna say i'm getting red hots a little bit once again for the notes it's surprisingly thin mm. i like it i mean i'm gonna give it an eight. I was thinking an eight point five. I don't know. I'm, mm -hmm. I kind of wanted to do a nine, but I want it to be a little bit more complex than what it is. See, the finish to me is on the shorter side of medium. I I feel like that should be longer. Yeah. I feel like it should be, but I feel like again, there is some wood that comes out on the finish. The longer the notes fade, I do get a little bit of wood that sticks around. It's dry. It's not really like a sweet wood though. I'm gonna Garbage. give the finish a four. I want it to stick around a little bit longer because I kind of thought with how potent it smells and it tastes that it would be there a little bit longer, but it just kind of dissolves away, which I'm not mad about. But as good as it is and as much as I like it, I kind of want it to hang around. So I think I'm, I'm gonna follow suit with you and do a four two. It's not gonna get full points for me because it's so short, but yeah. it's not super short either. <clears throat> All right. So. Do you have any guesses? I have no idea. Okay. Which one do you think is yours? Because I know which one's which. I feel like this one is more along my line. Right. Should I see what they are? Yeah. Yep. My, my, this All is right. mine. So this one's yours. We stay down suit here. Ooh. Oh, that's not as dark as I thought that would be. Oh. And that, damn, that is, mm, <laughs> mine, mine's darker. Yours is darker. Are you sure yours isn't a rum? Yeah. It's not a bourbon though, is it? Is that like a Canadian, Irish? Nope, can't tell you. Damn. You'll find out. Those are both lighter than I thought they would be. Well, I'm going to, they're both. The butter me, rum made me think it was going to be that color of the Lifesaver and it's not. I feel like to me, they're, they're the same. I think yours looks yeah, darker this because one's there's a, more. I think this one's a tinge it. darker. So I'm going to give the color, both of them a 1.5 because they're not that dark. Okay. I'm going to give this one a 1.75, which is mine. Yours a 1.5 because it's a little lighter. I'm, I can't tell the difference, so I'm going to give them a 1.5 for both. Okay, yeah. so. Is yours honey finished? No. Is it finished? No. Really? Yeah. All that sweetness came from something. Yeah. Do you want to know what mine is? Is it any special type of barrel? Is mm -hmm. it ex-American oak? Not that. Ex-bourbon? Uh, I believe so, yes. Is it Irish? No. The hell, you wouldn't buy a scotch. Nope, it's bourbon. It's bourbon. Mm-hmm. Is it from Michigan? Yeah. That's got to be an iron fish then. Nope. Yeah? Nope. No? Nope. <laughs> Great. So I have seen this brand everywhere. Um, they are notoriously known for their flavored whiskey, but not higher end stuff. 
However, <clears throat> their distiller, I believe it's their distiller, goes out and seeks out bourbon. So, of course, this is probably sourced, I'm assuming. Is it from Grand Rapids? Nope. Detroit? Nope. Up north? No. Holland? No. Jeez, <laughs> Traverse City? <laughs> no. I'm running out of places in Michigan. <laughs> Um, I think I can nail this down eventually. So this is a... A blind squirrel finds a nut every now and then. <laughs> a barrel that they found a couple of barrels in the back of a warehouse. And they left them there because they were entered in as bourbon. And they were put in the barrel at too high of a proof. So it's an American whiskey. So they could not technically label it as bourbon because it was too high proof. There is some sweetness there. That's got to be a good distillate to be decent like that. Well, you know. I don't like when you smile like that because you know you won. I, For one, I'm pretty sure I won. And for two, this is local to Chelsea, Michigan. I have no idea where that is. And it's from Ugly Dog Distillery. I have no idea what that is either. <laughs> um, so there's not a whole lot that I found online about Ugly Dog Distillery. However, they're named after their ugly dog, Ruger, who is a purebred wire hair something other. He's cute. I don't think he's ugly. Show me this bottle because <laughs> there's not much stuff. I don't know what it is. This is Distiller's Cash. Rare find whiskey, limited release, single barrel. 12 years. Age 12 years, 94 proof, bourbon mash bill. It says on the back, my personal quest has been to discover exceptionally unique and handcrafted products that stand out above the rest. Previously, I've kept these gems for very special occasions to share with our most cherished family and friends. While exploring old Rick houses in Kentucky, I discovered a few barrels of this outstanding whiskey. Being mashed as a bourbon, but entered into the barrel at higher proof, it has matured into something quite special. If you, I have now decided to share this rare find with you. I hope that you enjoy and savor it as much as I do. This is batch number eight, bottle number 130. Whiskey Explorer Dave Solomon from, from Ugly Dog Distillery, bottled by Ugly Dog LLC, Chelsea, Michigan. And this is a special release. Single barrel? Single barrel. Oh, you've confused me. I'm sorry. I'm going to give your bottle a 1.75. Okay. I think it looks like something from the 80s, and I think that's cool. Uh, it's different, that's for sure. I'm going to give it a two. I, I, the whole reason I bought it was because I thought it looked really cool. And I was like, wow, it's wax Does the dipped. store know anything about this? He did not know a damn thing. Not one thing about it. He told me that it was Canadian. And I looked at him and I said, well, it says right here it's bottled in Chelsea, Michigan. So it's sourced. Hey, any guesses on mine? I have no idea. Uh, you want any hints to try? No. This is something I used to love. Um... I guess that's like the new iteration. It did not live up to the hype for me. It is from Crestwood, Kentucky. This is a small batch. It is a, let's find, give it away, corn, wheat, and rye recipe. When you went into the store in Middleville and looking for something, I was afraid you were going to ask for this because we asked them to order it. This is Corner Creek Small Batch. What? Yeah, 40 bucks. That's the new one. Yeah, they just came out with this. I haven't seen it anywhere but here for the first time. Seemed like one or two people post about it on a Facebook group. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, I didn't know that that had hit our they, seat yet. You, it, formerly, it was owned by Willett. Um, now it is Kentucky Artisan does stuff for them. I don't, they don't own it. I think they're, they're connected somehow. I can't remember the owner's name. Distilled, aged, and bottled in Kentucky, bottled by Corner Creek Distillery, Crestwood, Kentucky. Founded in 1998, the Corner Creek Distilling Company has built a loyal following, all sharing their love of great Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey Corner Creek Distilling has always focused on small batch blends and bottlings. We proudly distill and age our bourbon at our distillery in Crestwood, Kentucky, where we are distilling our 
historic four grain weeded mash bill. So that would have Bolts of barley, of barley in it too. I've never heard that about Corn of Peak. All right, well now let's go into our rest of our well, rating. Hold, hold on, we got to get your bottle, oh, homie. Yeah. The bottle, the label is like drowned out. It was hard to read because of the colors. I'm not a fan of that. I'm not really happy that they went with that color scheme either. That was hard to see even on the shelf. I know you walked through the store and you didn't see it either. No. And I looked, I'm like, uh, I know that shape. Hmm. Weird. Um, I'm going to give it a one and a half because I'm, I'm going to give it a 1.75. I like the bottle, <clears throat> but the color scheme is not what I wanted. Interesting. Okay. So now we have to individually rate each other's. Mine is 90 proof, by the way. Okay. I didn't even know. Like, I know we had talked about that they were coming out with this and stuff. Not until so filtered. That's cool. All right. So you rating mine. Creativity. Nine and a half. That's okay. creative. <laughs> Availability. So remember, the higher you go. For I mean, you less found available it, so ones. I'm going to say nine and a half. Okay. <laughs> Ten would be unfindable. <laughs> um, unique. Yeah, that's unique. I'm going to give you uh, 9.75. Make your math hard. You rude. And popularity. Okay. Jim Beam product. Okay. You'd give it a one. If it was something you've never heard of, give you'd you give a, it a ten. Give you a nine. I just took you out of pretty sure. Yeah. But that's okay. What's your price though? So this was seventy nine ninety nine. So you're going to be 85, negative 35 points on the price. Whoops. <sighs> but it ain't getting any more unique. See, this is that. why the game's fun. I would have never know. even known what that is. That I literally, it was tucked away at Megabev and it was in their, their like special room, their expensive room. Really? And I was like, what in the heck is oh, that? Yes. Go in on my, <laughs> my reading. Okay. So how much did you pay for it? I got a receipt. Oh, look at you. 42.39. So that's 42 points. So you get plus eight points. Okay. Got to get points anywhere I can get them. <clears throat> well, you know. All right. So creativity. I feel like with our history and everything else with that, I'm going to give you... A solid nine because I feel like for one this is one that we've been drinking for a while and I feel like you did good there because I never even saw it and I probably looked at it five times but you know um, availability so that's hard because Corner Creek 10 is everywhere no, it's not everywhere you can't find I didn't see a bottle of it today I did mm. in three different stores but Three out of fifteen. I mean, that's not that. This one was one out of fifteen. So I mean, but that just hit the state. How many too, people so... are gonna buy it though? It's not a big brand. No. So I'll give you an eight on mm. availability. Cause it is available. I mean, I saw that three or four times. I saw this. You once. didn't see this. I saw well, it ten years. Okay. Talking about the brand, babe. Mm. Um, unique. I thought the taste was unique. The taste is definitely unique. And not in a good way, unfortunately. The brand is not as unique. The four grain mash bill. I thought it was rye, wheat, Malted corn. barley and corn. That's... I'll give you an eight. I always thought it was weird because you need the malted barley for fermentation. Yeah. Now, popularity. So this one is obviously more well known than mine. Still not that well known. But it's of a brand. not very well known. Hey, look, it's got a boob. It does have a boob. That's the truth. Um, but it's not super well known. Where if you ask somebody about it, they'll be like, "Oh yeah, I've tried that." So, I mean, I'm gonna give you a seven because okay. okay. you gave me a nine. I feel like I'm. We're in the same realm, but I'm a little bit more out of that realm than yeah. you are. <clears throat> so, I'm going to add all this up, and we'll be right back. Overall, you beat me. Mm -hmm. I did. But, overall, I won. 
So our honest points are you got 188 out of 300 and I got 166.75. Your price killed you. But my price killed me. So flavor profile, I definitely won. Yeah. You rated mine a 77. I rated it an 82. Yours, you rated a 72 and I rated it a 68. Man. So overall, I won as far as pick goes, but I lost because price got me again. But there you have it, guys. Peculiar pours for today. Brown took it. So that wraps up this review. Leave a comment if you have tried this whiskey and let us know what you thought. Please like and share to social media, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to leave a suggestion for our next review. Thanks for watching.